Excel's rank formula will allow you to easily see the relative size of any cell in an array. In this video, we'll walk through how to use this formula and specific use cases. So let's talk about the rank formula. What does the rank formula do? It returns the rank of a number in a list of numbers. So it's size relative to other values in the list. What you can do is select the salary, highlight the array of salaries, F4 to lock that in place. The order for now we'll leave as descending, but come back and discuss that. If I fill that down, I can really easily see this employee has the third highest salary. This employee has the second highest salary. This employee has the highest. Really, really easy for me to understand the relative size of a number in a list. And I can sort this and get a really easy view of who makes the most and who makes the least within my employee roster. If I were to change this from descending to ascending, now the order will simply be reversed. Excel will put the highest value as the greatest rank and the lowest value as the lowest rank or number one. I find the descending order is particularly helpful when working with dates. So if I wanted to look at which employees were hired first, I could use the rank formula. I could highlight the hire date, I could highlight the array F4 to lock that in place. One for an ascending list, fill that down. I have a really easy list of when my employees were hired. And if we look at our hire date column, we can see that it is in chronological order. The earliest employee, number one, the second employee, number two, and then our last employee being the highest value in our rank formula. So far in our exercise, we've been using the rank average, which only matters when you have more than one value with the same rank. With the rank average, if more than one value is the same rank, the average rank is returned. Where with rank EQ, if more than one value has the same rank, the top rank of that set of values is returned. Just to make this obvious, I'll change this back to a descending list, resort this smallest to largest, and now let's drag this salary down so we have multiple values that are the same in our table. If we look at our salary rank, now we have two and a half and two and a half instead of two and three. This is because Excel will take the average of the second and third ranks and return it for both cells. If I change this formula to be rank.eq, now what Excel will do is it will show me two for each of these values and then jump to four. So the only distinction between rank average and rank EQ is how it treats duplicate values in your table. 